What's going on crypto miners and welcome back to the channel. Well, the team over at Bitcoin Merch sent me one of the most powerful solo home Bitcoin miners on the market today. Let's take a closer look at the Nerd QX++ Hydro. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed. I'm excited. I'm always hyped to get in new miners. Look at this, we got a little pamphlet here, Nerd QX++. Now it says 4.8 terahash, but I'm reading on the site that it's five terahash. So this is gonna be interesting. We'll see what we get. We got some stickers, and I always like getting these coins. Look at this little Bitcoin. My kids love these as well. We'll put this off to the side. All right, so let's get this out of here. Uh, let's see what we have. So let's pull this out first. We have our massive power adapter here uh, that we do have 120 watt power supply. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to see if we actually do hit 120 watts, doubtful. These things usually run super, super lean and skinny. All right, let's see if I can get this out of here. What is this guy? Hang on, what's this here? Oh, this is actually the display. Wow, this is huge. I did not expect this to be this big. All right, let's put this off to the side. And let's see, wow. All right, check this. I can like barely get this thing out of the box. Here we go. Guys, check this out. This thing is wild. Looks like some Frankensteined up looking thing. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm cleaning up a little bit here. All right, so let's take a closer look at what we're playing with today. So this is the Nerd QX++. And yes, right away you see that it actually has a water block solution on it. This is like an AIO system that you get with like a CPU setup. So you actually can see, look, we have an in and an out. So what it does is it actually has this like gelatin, it's almost like a glycol chemical uh, liquid in here. And it actually goes over top of the chip itself, cools it and then runs that hot liquid back around into this radiator solution that you guys see here. And there's a fan actually on the inside. It's actually got, an, it's all 3D printed. It's actually pretty slick. That's blowing through the radiator. The liquid is cooled and then it's pumped back out and goes back into this water block here. I wonder what's on this display uh, at the current time. So you can see we actually have a few different cables here. I don't, this is kind of ugly. I don't like all these cables here in the front. Probably gonna rewire this to clean it up, to hide them, put it back behind. But one of these is for the actual, um, the block itself. And the other one actually goes back to the back side here, which is actually for the fans. Other than that, this is a beefy unit. This is kind of like a big brother, <clears throat> the Nerd QX++, to what a lot of you guys are used to seeing which is just the Bitax 602. This is the Bitax Gamma, uh, the one, one terahash model there. But this guy is supposed to come in between 4.8 to 5 terahash, which is absolutely crazy. And here's the actual screen here. We can peel off the plastic, put that over there. And let's see, my guess is this goes this way. Let's go ahead and try to plug this in. And this is going to display all the information, the hash rate. Uh, is it going to fit? Yep, there we go. Awesome. Look at that. That is pretty, pretty slick. Now, this is a solo home Bitcoin miner. And what does that mean? Does that mean you're making out and making, stacking tons of stats every day and making tons of money off this unit daily? No, you're not. This is a solo Bitcoin miner. You pretty much play the Bitcoin lottery. Uh, and how that works is every 10 minutes, a Bitcoin block is hit worth 3.125 Bitcoin. And this is your lottery ticket. You buy it once and you play that Bitcoin lottery every 10 minutes with a chance to hit a Bitcoin block. Does this use a lot of power? Absolutely not. We're gonna put it to the test today and measure it at the wall, but that's what this unit is. And the more hash rate you have, theoretically, the better your chances are. We're gonna take a look at that today as well. All right, so I got this rewired. Didn't really take too, too much. I put some zip ties on the side here. The fan cable was super, super long. Tucked it all around. I think it looks exactly the way it should have come from factory. So we do have our adapter, our power adapter plugged in over here. This is a meter box watt meter uh, that I have put together. 
and it'll go ahead and give us the watts at the wall, which I know everyone's very eager to find out about. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Moment of truth, you ready? All right, here we go. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear the liquid start flowing. This is kind of cool. And the screen's coming online. Look at that fan, the RGB fan in the back there. Watch, let me turn off the light real quick. Check this out. Oh yeah. So the RGB gives you extra horsepower, right? It's kind of like Honda Civics and your uh, decals. <laughs> All right, so let's get that back on. One thing I wish they did, I don't like the orientation of this. It's just me being, you know, me, but this should be this way. I wonder if I can take this off and rotate it without causing any harm. I don't know. I, I don't like that the logo is sideways. Uh, just These are the little things that I think about. I don't know. Just me. So, okay. So, two things here I want to point out. First thing is it actually tells you how to connect to it. I'm going to try to focus the camera here. Uh, so, on your cell phone, you're going to take your cell phone. I have mine here. Oh, look at me. Hello. I see you. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and connect to the SSID there, the wireless nerd axe underscore 4761. Once you do that, if the website doesn't come up, just go open your web browser and go to the IP address I put down below, 192.168.4.1. And that's going to ask you for your wireless credentials. So just connect it to your wireless credentials and I'll bring you back over to the computer for our next step. However, if you stayed this long, Huge shout out to the team over at Bitcoin Merch. We're giving this away. This is the, as I talked about, it's kind of like the little brother, the original, the OG. This is uh, the bit, well, there were some previous models, but this is the Bitax 602. Uh, this is the Bitax Gamma. It's a one terahash model. Look, you can even see it has a little screen there. Does have a power cable that I'll send along with it back there. And I'm going to send along this stand with it too, this kind of pink salmon colored stand. So we're giving this away. So stay tuned. I'll tell you guys exactly how to enter the giveaway. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. All right. So we're over here on bitcoinmerch.com. Huge shout out to them once again for not only providing the Nerd QX++ Hydro for today's video review, but also the Bitax Gamma that we're going to be giving away later on in this video. So taking a closer look at this model, I still think it totally looks absolutely badass. I love the RGB, uh, 100%. Even flipping through these pictures here, it looks so freaking good. Kudos to them. I love this design. Love to see more of this coming out from the Bitax community. So right now, this unit comes in at 5 plus terahash with power supply, which is pretty dang sweet. It doesn't necessarily say how many watts are on here. We're going to take a closer look at that in a few minutes because I'm very eager to see. Also eager to see what the temps are on this unit uh, and how far we can actually push it because we do have the flexibility to overclock this unit even further than where it is right now. Now, 5 terahash, what, what does that give us? So we're over on sololuck.com and this is a great website to kind of get a better understanding of what are your odds of hitting a Bitcoin block. Kind of just like as we talked about before, it's a Bitcoin lottery miner. Could you pull mine with this unit? Yes, we're actually going to take a look here in a minute and see what this unit would make. But do I recommend it? Absolutely not. This is built for solo mining. So taking a look at our hash rate here, we're going to put in five terahash. And this kind of gives you a better understanding. Chances per day, one in one million five hundred and eighty four thousand and thirty so not very good one in four thousand three hundred forty per year and if you do end up hitting that bitcoin block which you can see here look the next block hits in six minutes and 45 seconds you would end up walking away with three hundred forty five thousand three hundred and eighty seven dollars that's absolutely insane and i continue to increase my chances more and more with adding more solo bitcoin miners to my arsenal. We're still getting up and running. We've only been up and running for a few minutes. It's slowly starting to get um, higher and higher in hash rate. And something I was looking at here was my ASIC temps at 43C. So it's still performing very, very well as to be expected. Now, some of the things you do have the ability to do, oh, look at that, we're slowly going up there. It says 3.5 and our expected is 4.8. So if we go over to settings on here, and this is where I've actually gone ahead and set the model up on my wireless, as well as, as you guys might see, 
it's actually set up on a local IP address. We're not mining to any other pools out there. We're mining actually directly to a localized Bitcoin node that I'm running here, right literally about three feet away from my solo Bitcoin miners out there. And I actually have a full video on how to set this up with any old PC that you guys have sitting around. Uh, and it takes you all of about 15 minutes to get at least set up. Syncing takes a lot longer, but set up. Very, very simple, super beginner friendly. I'll link it down below. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Now, down below here under mining settings, we're on default, our frequency of 600, our core voltage of 1150. So if you're a tinkerer, which I know a lot of you guys are, you can, you can kind of play around with a lot of these things here, which is nice and see how you do. So while we're waiting for this to fully get up and hashing, I'll show you guys. So I'm running Umbral. It's an Umbral node. Umbral is the operating system. And uh, very simple to set up, as I mentioned to you guys. And we have two different applications running here. The first one is our Bitcoin node. And we've been up and syncing and it's 100%, which is absolutely fantastic. I did have to power cycle it about four days ago, not because of a problem on here. I was trying to fix another application I was testing but we're up and syncing with the blockchain. And so this is one part of the puzzle. The second part of the puzzle is the second app called Public Pool. Now this isn't Public Pool, the, the direct public facing Public Pool, I know the name, but this is actually an app that has been uh, developed. It's fully open source. And this is the entire stratum in the pool that allows you to run this locally. So they both work with each other. And you can see here, look at this. Here's the stratum, the whole URL that you would put in so here's the IP address locally and also the port. And then your connect, you know, you'd put in your Bitcoin address and password. So if I put mine in here, let's go ahead and refresh this. Here's what I'm running currently right now. We're at 17.84 for our difficulty. And these are all the different miners. So we have like one, two, three different other bit axes. We have the BMM 101s. We have three of those. We actually have the uh, coffee heater right here on my desk as well coming in at a whopping 107 giga hash. Here's the Nerd QX uh, Hydro coming in at about 3.9 right now. And then I have a Wildcat Miner as well as two of, uh, these are the Magic Miner, uh, Wizard Miners. <laughs> That's what I call Magic Miner EG01s coming in a little bit higher there. Uh, but right now we're we're pushing somewhere between 20 to 25 terahash. I did have a number of more uh, miners on here on this network, uh, but I'm actually having some problems with three different miners. We'll get into that in another video, but you can see we're anywhere between 20 to 25. Actually, it looks like we bumped up a little bit here. So we're going to go with the high at about 25 terahash as this slowly gets up and running. So what does 25 terahash do for me as I have all these different solo Bitcoin miners? Well, if I come over here and we look at 25 terahash, now look at our chances per year. Signific that's what I'm looking at per year. One in 856. That's pretty dang good, right? But this is just like playing the lottery. All right, it's been a few hours and you know me, I've been tinkering with the voltage and the frequency. We've seen as high as 5.3. We're about 5.1 to 5.2 currently right now. Now, watch at the wall, that's a big one. Take a look, we are just at 119, almost at 120 here. This is a 120 watt power supply. This thing is warm, it won't go any higher. So I think we pretty much maxed out the amount of pretty much hash rate that we're gonna get, right around five terahash here with a 120 watt power supply. We could absolutely get more if we upgraded our power supply. Now talking about our giveaway here, how do you enter? Easy, go ahead and comment directly down below. If you won this, where would you put it? Would you put it on a shelf somewhere in your office or out in the garage or in the basement or maybe in the kitchen? Leave a comment down below, where would you put your brand new Bidax Gamma if you won it? And in two weeks, I'll go ahead and pick one winner. All right, so if you decide to go ahead and buy the Bitcoin March Nerd QX++ Hydro, first thing you wanna do is follow the link directly down below in the video description and the first pin comment and click add to cart. Once you've clicked add to cart, that's gonna bring you over to this page here and let's save a little bit of money. So under discount code, go ahead and type in hobbyist. This is an affiliate code that will not only give you guys a discount, but also 
give a little something something back to the channel so thank you click apply and that will save you guys thirty dollars at checkout once again huge shout out to the team over at bitcoin merch for sending us the nerd qx plus plus hydro for today's video review hey everyone quick announcement that i'm pumped to share with you i've officially teamed up with the mining disrupt crew to help spread the word about one of the biggest crypto mining events of the year mining disrupt 2025 is coming up fast and this time it's happening in dallas texas i've personally attended the last three years and i can tell you from experience if you're serious about mining this event delivers whether you're a home miner just getting started managing a mid-sized farm or running a full-scale hosting operation mining disrupt brings the community together under one roof expect major hardware launches inspiring talks from industry leaders opportunities to meet fellow miners connect with content creators and brand new this year a mining farm tour tickets are available right now and use the code hobbyist miner at checkout for 20 percent off just click the link in the video description or scan the qr code on the screen right now listen i'll be there and i'd love to see you too let's make it a week to remember mining disrupt 2025 here we come